Well, so, anyhow, um, <clears throat> release directed taxation. <clears throat> Come, let us play some lottery games. Uh oh. I know I had this all set up. Honest, I did. Well, that's what you get for trying to do... Well, what I get for trying to do things too good. Alrighty. So, here, let's just take you over a conversation I had been having. Well, mostly with myself, but... Uh, a lot of BC finally answered. This is the website, by the way. Uh, BC Lotto Corp. Playing... Playing it right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. In BC, British Columbia, Canada. So, yeah, we'll just let you read those. Ah, oh, crap, there's my glass of water. <clears throat> so, I'll just get a glass of water elsewhere. I think the glass of water is a problem. Let's see. Because that useless piece of shit that I bought from the source. Keeps falling apart and it was wobbly garbage to begin with. So, rather than insult myself further, I'll just forget about it. Uh, so, you can get the conversation there. Basically, I'm bringing up directed taxation, and all I'm saying is, um, just, um, well, ra rather than originally it was, uh, a better system, I think, but anyhow, when, when BC Lotto started, oh crap, what is it, like 23 years ago, 25 years ago, um, so anyhow, and it started by an act of, uh, BC province, and it was, uh, cast as a, like a crown corporation <coughs> to administer gambling, um, much like they do booze, so there would be no room for the black market. Whether you want to do your herbs like that, like can medicinal cannabis or not, well, that's another matter. We won't go there. We'll keep this simple. Directed taxation example, lesson number one, the lotto game. So now, uh, say a hospital or a school wants to build something. Okay, now I guess as it is now, they go to whoever and they apply and... And then eventually some politicians, far and removed, might take some money out of general revenue and probably make it like a thing to make themselves get re-elected and look good. A slush fund. A re-election slush fund. Um, forget about all that. Now, anyone can apply for a lotto. Uh, their idea. Um... And, uh, you know, of course, there's going to be checks and balances before you actually get money. <clears throat> and the simplest method would be, well, say, okay, say Penticton General Hospital or Regional Hospital wants to uh, do a big lotto for uh, their, their tower, which is a big expansion to bring it up from 1952. You know, the government just keeps, or 1958 when it was built. And, you know, we were like, what, 20th of, uh, one-fifth of the population. And they were young back then, not old. So, rather than go through all the bullshit, uh, say Penticton uh, Regional Hospital, uh, well, I'm going to use the exact example, Penticton Regional Tower, I'll put the link there. The, uh, you know, I'll let you read the rest of the comments. They would make a big video and and, and a plan and say this is exactly what we want the money for and then they would submit it through Lotto BC's website just like YouTube channel or whatever or they could do it through YouTube channel to begin with uh, you know here's my project and uh, <clears throat> here are the facts about it in a nice video all at my own expense and I submit it whether I'm a the local community center or the Penticton 
regional hospital society or, or, or an, an, an individual uh, wanting to do whatever, uh, put up a nice flagpole at the edge of town or uh, uh, clean up a boulevard or fund anything, you name it. You make your, your YouTube uh, video. This is just to begin with. I mean, obviously Lotto BC with a trillion dollar budget plus every year can, can fathom their own server space on their own BC Lotto servers and, you know, that's where you go to see, hmm, I want to buy a lottery ticket today. What am I going to, whatever, 10 cents out of the dollar that it is now. What is that going to go to dedicate towards? Well, no, I don't want to build a fucking hacky rink. I don't want to build a prison. Uh, hospital, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Give me uh, one hospital draw, you tell your computer or whatever. And that's with that. You spend your buck, you get your ticket, and um, you dedicate what the... Uh, who's the benefactor going to be? You know, and then you get to satiate your own greed and... Well, ha, maybe I'll win a million dollars tonight. Ha, or 50 million. Ha, or oh, BC Lotto is 2 million. Ha, split between jackpot winners or whatever. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I'll, take you, I'll take you to their accounting page with their, they put out on their Lotto BC website. Just let you read through that while I babble on. Oh, by the way, 1% of a trillion dollars is $100 million. You're spending that much on BC uh, advertising? What the fuck, man? You don't need that. you got your own website to be investing in. And, you know, if you want to... Th Allow them to do the odd. I mean, if you want to invite them to come and do free uh, uh, public announcements on the winners to say, "Hey, look, we're built. We finally funded the expansion to the Penticton uh, Regional Hospital Tower," or 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 Burt Lancaster's flagpoles at the edge of town, or you know, whatever you know that art sculpture, or or I wanted to. Build six houses with Habitat for Humanity in my community, or... I mean, you can propose anything you wish, and... You know, obviously it gets... It gets dropped if it doesn't... If nobody buys tickets for it, then, you know... When they stop buying tickets, that it gets dropped out of the ticket, the thing, because, you know, you can't have, like, 10,000 things to choose from, uh, benefactors to choose from to support... So as you can see, our Lotto BC Corporation is a full crown corporation, as is rather implied in the wording. Um, now I've been openly criticizing you guys and passing you back um, criticism through your vendors out here in Oliver. Um, and here's my tax receipts every, every time I did business with you since I've been back in BC. Yeah, see that? Yeah, that's a lot of one dollar tickets. That's probably five hundred extra dollars a tax I must have given you guys since what eight years, seven years that I've been back. And um oh, here I'll, I'll just show you see. So so you see, see these are all tax receipts to prove that I You know, wishing to avoid a class action lawsuit to bring you guys out of general tax revenue because you are not designed for general general revenue, and and that's just disempowering people even more. Just like a gambling addiction disempowers people. You know, you don't need that stuff. Which your class outfit has like it. Okay. You just need a few citizens to help give you a platform to take before the politicians. And don't worry, we will advertise it. Yeah, see? I spent... 
eight dollars a month for eight draws. That's that's my limit. Once in a while, I'll buy that that lot of seven ink to participate with all of Canada for five bucks. Uh, you know, when it gets to have like twenty-one million dollar prizes, that's getting to be. Well, just the fact that you're changing somebody's life forever that gets 50 million or a million, you know, that's kind of a little thrill there. If you're compulsively um, altruistic or whatever. <coughs> or are you just like fucking with people in a good way? Oh, yeah, you probably read that. In a good, sustainable way. I like fucking with people. I love fucking with corporations. I'll fuck them into dust if they're that flawed. I always saying, here's the problem. Here's the solution. If you don't have nothing until you can come up with one, then you can start working on this solution. You know, you gotta you gotta balance the world. So you you BC Lotto is a trillion dollars is passing through their hands. About 10% is going to benefactors, you know, building that ballpark down at the community center or that skateboard park or whatever. Uh, 1% to advertising. So $100 million, a billion to uh, prize money. Am I doing this math right? Every year or la last year. Oh, here, let's, sorry. Yeah. Finish this off. Yes, a billion to uh, benefactors. Um, I don't know what running the Lotto Corporation, I imagine that probably takes another 1%, 100, 100 million dollars. Which, granted, you're going all computerized, so that can get really efficient. I'm not saying cut the st little stores out of it, but... trillion dollars is a lot of fucking money. There's only five million homo sapiens in British Columbia. Or 4.5 million. So a trillion dollars a year, eh? I don't know. I don't think 90. So we'll take you back to the main page. You know, and they do try and stick to the mandate of helping this gambling addiction nonsense. And if you ever go in one of them gambling palaces, oh, fuck man, it's like going into a bar with all these TVs hung everywhere. Ah, drool, drool, drool. <laughs> the super fluorides in your brain kick into overdrive. Oh. Yeah, one of them places. I've been in about five or six of them just to check them out. See what everyone's done. And if I could find a coin, one that takes like co Canadian coin currency, then I, you know, I'll wager the minimum wage, quarter or a dollar. Been in two of them in Manitoba and the one in BC here. I guess I went there twice. And uh, one in Regina. Actually had dinner there. That's why I was. My arm was broken, and and so was my cylinder head on the bus on Bear's bus. So. We had to wait. No, I'm doing this as a public service at BC Lotto Corp. So you know, don't be. If you got a problem, let me know, and I'll take your content off. But know that under. <coughs> 
copyright laws, this is... I'm not making any kind of remuneration for my efforts, unlike you. And this is all public disclosure and public information. So it's just a uh, public news service. We're going to help you move forward and go above the worst. Oh, here's the nice, that's a nice simple breakdown. There. Okay, so... Um, Just do your own reading. A trillion dollars is a lot of fucking money. This is how they've been doling out. So it has a nice breakdown. It's got to come out of general revenue. That's enough of that bullshit. You know, I told you guys back in Canada, back in. Well, I don't know, 2003 or so. 2000, yeah. And this general revenue pot. Like, uh, employment insurance all goes into general revenues now and all the kind of stuff. So now, you just lose all accountability and everything goes out the window. If you collect, you know, 2003, I said that, and finally the liberals came out and okay here with uh, we're giving you a fuel tax refund that was collected to fix your roads and they pissed it away on all kinds of nonsense no you, you keep a tax real and this is a lottery is a tax it's a, it's a uh, charitable tax to where you can you know satiate your own get a reward, a direct monetary reward right back out of it if you're, you know, in lieu of getting struck with lightning or something. Which I've been twice. I don't want no fucking jackpot. These are all the local casinos. So that trillion dollars is the casinos and the lottery ticket con consor consortium. You know, I've seen foundations have their own. I don't know if they do it in BC. Yeah, sure, I've seen it. Where hosp big hospitals have their own lotto and they go and get licensed and go through all that fucking headache and hassle work and how inefficient. In this day of information, dirt cheap inf mass communications and information, you set it up on the web and there's no reason why anybody, uh, I guess they'd have to be a citizen of BC or whatever, can't apply for a lotto grant. But, you're doing it through directed taxation. To where I, no, I want my, the 10 cents that's going to public good out of my dollar, I want to say it's going towards this, not that, not anything. Uh, not to be used as some kind of slush fund by the, by the government to cover its mistakes for, say, wasting too much money on on um, the Olympics, in my opinion, uh, as well as all accounting. No, that's not what I want my money for. I want my money to upgrade my tax money. A anything that's disposable beyond that, the the legitimate operating needs of the government. I want it to go, not to Harper's privatized uh, prison complex, started right, right across the highway there. Uh, I'm north of all over, BC. No, I want it to go to Penticton to upgrade that, that 30 year old, 40 year old hospital. Or uh, 45 year old hospital. So it can run cost effectively, efficiently, and um, healthcare effectively. You know that that's my priority. I don't want him going to paying interest payments on. Money that was poured for overinflated pyramid property scams in Gastown, Vancouver, 
uh, in the name of the Olympics. The Olympics. No. No, 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 no. I've got so very little money to waste, and if I waste it, I want, on, I want it to be wasted on what I want in this, in this province. Not what some politician wants to get his ass re-elected. Alright, so, you guys can, uh, I'll, I'll put the link up for more information. To uh, BC, uh, to this report, and um, which I've already sent out to any of you. I don't know whether you're getting it or the rest of my network. And um, you know, um, let me just uh, bring this to a comedic end. And um, hey, guys, sound good? How would you like to see your lotto dollar, dollar spent, kitty? What self-empowering, socially benevolent way would you like to see it guided? Well, so with that, um... Trillion dollar kick it off! Masonic nuts. <coughs> But no, no, it's, it's okay, Cindy. <clears throat> I'm resilient. <sighs> we'll just, um... We'll just say next up. <clears throat> next up for real Canadian democracy is... Well, in this case, we could say real British Columbia democracy, couldn't we? We'll just, uh... Well... You decide. You let me know, viewers. Would you like me to... <clears throat> Would you like me to address a personal issue, which is affecting... thousands, if not tens of thousands or more, BCers, and has already? This, this business about knowing about dangerous uranium deposits and just sweeping it under the rug and moratorium after moratorium and never dealing with it and, you know, warning people. Or, uh, perhaps an alternative um, adjustment to the BC Corporation. Maybe you would like to suggest something. Carbon tax? How about carbon tax? Hey, there's a good one. Well, you let me know. There's, there's my two options.